Greetings Coburn here, and this video is just to how to get Mario by Stepling running on your computer. Now, uh, before we start, you'll notice that I've got a notepad window and the BizHawk uh, directory where it has all the files. There's a few v different videos that actually uh, differentiate, but this one's the most uh, reliable one that I've got working. And pretty much it's just a matter of putting all the files in the right directory and everything else will just magically work. Now, if you do plan to use the save and load functions of the neural network, then you will have to use a specific version of BizHawk um, because the newer versions somehow have a better UR um, scripting runtime and somehow that Stefan's code doesn't like uh, those newer runtimes and therefore you get breakage. But anyway, um, so basically, uh, what you can do to get the source code is you pretty much download a, you go to, I will pop a link to Steph Bling's uh, video in the description. Go there and it'll present you with a paste bin um, thing. You, what you want to do is actually um, take that code, and this is pretty much what I downloaded earlier. Um, I called it Neat Evolved Lure, but it can be a different for, um, file name. And what you want to do is, pre I pretty much commented out the Super Mario World on the NES um, part. And I did some adjustments. So what you see here is a customized script. It will most likely not be um, the same that the one that you get from the Steffling video. Um, basically, what you need to do after that is, once you do this, have it saved and make sure the EULA file is in the actual directory with uh, emuhawk.exe. Once you've done that, you need now then load emuhawk, and once it loads up, which may take a few moments, if you have a slower machine, it may take a bit longer, and this will appear. Now, you have to obtain the Mario Brothers ROM uh, for the NES. Now, if you go on some websites, there may be two versions, PR, PRG0 and PRG1. The latter, which is this one I've got highlighted here, um, is actually a revised thing which would fix bugs and whatnot. Um, what you want to make sure you do is get the PRG, PRG0.NES file. That is the file that you want um, because if you load the other file, um, it will actually won't say Super Mario Brothers, which is what the actual script is referencing from here. Um, it's looking for this. If you load the other file, it will just say, you know, Super Mario Brothers, uh, JU, blah, blah, and the script will just freak out and no, it won't work because probably RAM addresses and everything have different. Now, that's pretty much all you have to do. So what you want to do there is drag it in, let it load up. Now, you want to, at the start of World 1-1 or any other level, is you want to pause the emulation straight off the bat then you want to go to save state and then save name state. Now, this will put you in the BizHawk NES um, state directory. What you want to do is go up to the BizHawk uh, folder and as you can see, I've already made a state called Super Mario Brothers 11.state. You also notice I've typoed that. So what we want to do is just, let's call it w1-1.state. So that looks a thing there. You need to remember to keep this and what it will do in the script. So you go save, that is now saved. You don't, even though it's still paused, you don't have to worry about it. Go back to the script, um, which can be done by clicking on this. And in the file name here, you want to paste what you call that state. So you'll notice over the where I've got the cursor now over there, you'll see the world one one dot state file exists there, and you'll now in the Euler script, um, you'll see the file. I updated the file name. That's what you want. Um, as you scroll down, if you're feeling mischievous, you can you know increase the chances of mutations and all that, which modifies the neural network. I'm not 100%, I'm not a um, you know uh, scientific. Um, research or anything like that, but I found that um, some of the fiddling with some of these properties gave you some very interesting um, 
I, uh, learning where AIs will do like three wall jumps in a row off a pipe or something. Very clever. So that is pretty much um, everything you need to do with the actual script um, for now. So this can be minimized. We'll minimize that. Once we've done that, um, you want to go into the tools menu. And I'm not sure if this is coming up on the stream, but um, I'll have to double check the footage and go um, Lua console, which will bring up this window. You want to then go to um, OpenScript, and you want to find where you put the script. Now, I recommend putting all the scripts in the actual bizhawk directory, because you know it's all there. Um, it can't really... Uh, well, the script, uh, the script is related to where the script is. If you put the script... I mean, the save state in a different folder, it's not going to find it. So you're going to have to keep the... Um, keep the state files as well in the Lua file, basically. So you want to double click on this Lua file. And as a result, you will get this little pop-up window. Now, just to keep in mind, if you're using BizHawk um, over the recommended version, which is 1.11, I believe, 0.3 or something, I read in a Reddit post, I'll, I will update the video description um, as soon as I find that piece of information, but you will see that it um, pretty much goes from here. So this is you kind of this um, goes from there. If we go back and we unpause, uh, so um, as you can see, the AI is starting to learn. You get a Lua console, and there you go. Um, at the moment, the 27 minutes. This will go on and on for quite some time. Just a word of warning, if you only have 4 gigs of RAM, make sure you close everything else on your computer. Turn off your antivirus and stuff like that. Um, I say that because, you know, antivirus systems do use a lot of RAM, um, or can use a lot of RAM, and, yeah, um, this is a very hungry memory, um, hungry for memory thing, so you need a lot of memory, basically. But um, I had my instance running for four days, learning World 1.1, and then it crashed because it ran out of memory on a 4 gig little Intel NEC. Um, if you want to actually see one of the best runs that my instance did, take a look at my other channel. I did a previous video on Stifling's uh, a little bit of a tweaked AI. Um, it was shot pretty badly shot with my uh, camera, but, uh, well, my phone camera, but um, yeah. So yeah, that's all you have to do it, um, and you just leave your computer do that, um, turn off the power saving mode, um, so this makes it perfect for if you have those little, you know, small little box and everything, and it's exactly what you would see on the stream um, of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'll post, it, I'll post a link in the description of a stream of this um, for World 1-2. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, Mario by Skeptic and how to set it up. I hope if, there, if there's anything else you're not sure of, please don't hesitate to give me a, bit, a comment. Um, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. It tells me that you're interested in this type of content. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a good night. And yeah, um, happy AI training. <laughs> Alrighty, Coburn out.